if you need to build an app that's going to run on iOS, Android, Mac OS and Windows, you can build four apps or you can build one. The best way to go is cross-platform. I'm Matt Goldman, let's get into it. Most of us build web apps these days. We're used to building single page applications in Angular or React or any other kind of SPA framework. These are great, but sometimes you just need to build a native installable app. This can be for a lot of reasons. For example, it might be performance. You might need multi-threading. Could be encryption. You don't get encryption with a web app. You might build building an advanced, sophisticated app that takes advantage of platform features like augmented reality. If you need to do these things, you can't do them with a web app. Once you've made the decision to build an installable native binary application rather than a web app, a single page application, your app needs to run on Android, iOS, Mac or S, and Windows. You can build four apps or you can build one app. Now you definitely, definitely want to go cross platform and build one app rather than four. The reason is if you build four different apps, You've got four different code bases to maintain, not to mention building them in the first place. You can then get fragmentation. There's new features come out on different platforms. That could be an advantage, but we'll see how you can use that anyway with cross-platform. We have a rule here on SSW rules, it says do you build cross-platform apps? And this links to this other rule about dry, because what you don't want to do is repeat yourself and build the same app over and over again and then have to maintain all those different code bases. If you want to build a cross-platform app, there's a few different ways you can go. If you've already got a web app, a single page application, the easiest way might be to take that application and wrap it in a web wrapper that you can then export and package and bundle as an installable application. There's a few different options that let you do this. A popular one is Ionic. Ionic was originally built for Angular. It now supports uh, React and Vue as well. This is a great choice for getting up and running quickly, as is Electron. Electron is a very popular choice, also supports all these frameworks like React, Vue, and Angular, the most popular single page application frameworks. It's used by Microsoft for Microsoft Teams and for Visual Studio Code. Both of these are great options. The pros are they can get you up and running really quickly especially if you've already got the web app. There are some downsides though. The downside is the technical side of how they work. And that is that they get a web view and they render and run and execute your application using the command executor in that web view. Now, that's not necessarily a bad thing, but it does mean that you only get a single process, you only get single threading. If performance is a concern, that may be an issue for you. In particular, with Ionic, another problem is that you don't get first party support for native platform APIs. So if you're not doing anything particularly sophisticated, this may not be a problem for you. However, if you want to take advantage of device or platform features like contacts, accelerometer or GPS, it can be a bit trickier. You have to bring in external third party plugins. The next step up is to look at something like React Native. Now, if you're already a React team and you already have a React app, this will be a smooth transition for you. You can write your code in React. You can write your UI in React. You can use JavaScript. You can use TypeScript. But it's got a major advantage over Ionic or Electron. And that is React Native is a cross compiler. So rather than running in a web view, it actually builds an executable native application that runs on the native platform APIs. Another popular cross compiler is Flutter. Flutter is built and maintained by Google. Uh, it also gives you a cross platform application. It cross compiles, it builds to the native platform, uses multi-threading, uses the platform APIs, and it lets you write your views once and render across different platforms. It uses Skia to render the views so you get a pixel perfect UI on every platform. But if you're a .NET developer, and you have a full stack .NET solution that you need to add a cross-platform UI to, the best option for you is .NET MAUI. .NET MAUI is also a cross-compiler. It compiles down to native binary executable packages. It gives you 100% platform API access from day one when new platform APIs become available. 
and you can write your UI in C Sharp. And if you've got a full stack solution, you can share code across your stack. You can even share code across your whole enterprise. .NET MAUI is the way to go if you're a .NET developer or you're a .NET team that needs to build a .NET cross-platform UI. Now, one of the other advantages of web apps that we haven't spoken about is that you might want to use your favorite UI library. You might be particularly fond of Bootstrap or Tailwind. What if I told you you could have your cake and eat it? With .NET MAUI hybrid Blazor apps, you can write your UI in Blazor Blazor is a C-sharp single page application. So you can build your UI in HTML and CSS using your favorite CSS UI libraries, and you can run it as a native executable app. It may seem like a web wrapper, but it isn't because it's only the UI that's rendered in a web view. All of the code is run as .NET managed code on the device. Depending on the platform, you can do AOT compilation. You get multi-threading, all of the platform APIs, it's literally the best of all worlds. So if you're a .NET developer or on a .NET team and you need to build a cross-platform UI application, .NET MAUI is the way to go for you. I'm Matt Goldman for SSWTV. Thank you.